Dr. Mamidi, this question is to you. So, Dr. Kanakadurga just uh, spoke about, uh, you know, not being apprehensive about decisions that we are taking or need to take. Now, what were the reasons you had for opting for your particular choice of career and what apprehensions did you have and what pitfalls did you face? Dr. Mamidi is a clinical researcher. Hello everyone. Uh, first question regarding why I have taken research is for two reasons. Actually I was a misfit for MBBS. So that, that was the reason I entered into research. When I mean even before I'm I audible? Okay. I mean I think there's a lot of work. Hello? Yes. Actually, I was a misfit for MBBS. Uh, when I was in my 10th class, my brother, my sister, both, both were doctors. And so that was the only reason I, I became a doctor. But when I entered MBBS, I knew that it was for four and a half plus one, five and a half years. Then I got somehow bogged down because I know my other, other cousins were doing engineering for four years. So from that time onwards, I think I had a different curve in my mind. But I think it's very common for you all. I'm a guy who doesn't read a lot. So a person who doesn't read a lot is a misfit for MBBS in itself. You need to read a lot. I think a lot, I read less. So this is what I do and I'm, my weakness is by hearting. I can't by heart a lot of things. I spend most time understanding things and these are the two reasons why I actually have chosen research as my career because I think uh, I have a lot of upper hand in uh, research. I'm very, uh, I think I self, myself to be a very good thinker in reasoning why exactly a certain disease process works. For example, uh, when I was in my first MBBS, uh, in the first MBBS year, uh, reading Guyton, I used to read Guyton for the whole day. Of course, the next day I would forget everything. But that was how beautiful Guyton was for me, but not Chaurasia. I could never turn one page and I know Paripalai Madam was our uh, assistant professor then and I would always go backside. So that was how I would always think a lot and that is what made me to do research. In an example of physiology, I would give an example. Could you tell me why nature has chosen sodium to be an extracellular ion and potassium to be an intracellular ion? Does anyone know why nature has chosen that? Yes? Life started in? Aquatic, you know. Sodium, I think in the, in the periodic table, Potassium comes first or sodium? Sodium comes first, isn't it? Sodium is smaller than potassium. Yet, sodium is outside, potassium inside. It is very easy for the nature to put potassium outside and sodium inside because of small size. This was my thought and I wasted three months for it. I was not reading any other thing just for this. So, this is how I, I get distracted if I don't understand things. The reason I tell you is not because of the small atomic size, it's because of ionic charge ratio. Because both have one plus ion but the mass of potassium being smaller, it attracts more water molecules. The final result is that the hydrated potassium size is actually bigger, uh, is smaller than the final hydrated size of potassium. So I took three months entirely just to understand what this was. So I wasted a lot of other things. So in an MBBS career with a lot of competition, you can't do those things. But helplessly I am in this way, so I pursued research just because I could only think and not by heart. Thank you. The second thing is uh, I would see the apprehensions. Yeah, important apprehension in, in research. I think most of you know in US they are very very clear. Why do you want to become a doctor? You want you want to earn money. It's very straightforward there. In here we are a little complicated. I don't know why. When they say that we do most students in United States do doctor, do lawyer just for earning money. They are very clear about it. There's no two ways about it. In India, we think about other nation, everything else. I mean, it's all important, but I think we are just a little unclear. Like, that's why I think you are here, here. So what I say is that my apprehension, my apprehension is that uh, my uh, brother being a GP in Uni United Kingdom was telling me, why are you doing in research? Come to UK, you'll earn a lot more money. Uh, yes, that was true. My, I had a different reason. 
my i wanted to be with my family my with my mother i always miss my mother right from my childhood i was uh, away from my mother for almost 20 years there were different reasons but what he was telling me was that so the only reason convincing me was the passion i had for my subject the nutrition especially child nutrition i was so engrossed in understanding why child nutrition happens that i spent entire 3 years for that but of course i was paid for it it's not that i was just doing only research so these are the two reasons why it kept me uh, despite my brother saying me that come to abroad earn lot of money uh, i think i had a stick i had a passion for child nutrition and it stick me for 3 years luckily the director then uh, was very kind to me and he promoted me as scientist so that's how i met nian and regarding whether to make a decision as your about career uh, as i said uh, family being the most important thing i stayed back here thank you